I get great resolution. I can see all the fillers I need to see, as well as the vascular structures. So I recommend the Clarius for those people who want to enter the aesthetic arena using ultrasound. I recommend the Clarius L20. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, a facial plastic surgeon from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. About 15 years ago, I started the Aesthetic Clinique, which was dedicated to non-invasive and minimally invasive procedures. My practice personally is dedicated to injectables, ultrasound, teaching, and training. I started using ultrasound a little over two years ago. I became intrigued with the safety factor associated with ultrasound. Let me tell you some aha moments I've had. So I went to Amsterdam to learn from the innovator of ultrasound for the face, Leonie Schelke, and I went to her complications clinic. She has a clinic devoted just to filler complications. She was referred a patient who had a nasal occlusion, vascular occlusion, where the blood was obstructed from a filler injected in the nose. She told the referring physician to place 3,000 units of hyaluronidase to dissolve the filler, and then we've come to see her in the morning. After 3,000 units of hyaluronidase, there was no improvement. She used ultrasound and guided injections using hyaluronidase of 125 units when she identified the area that was obstructed and it cleared. And we confirmed the clearance with the ultrasound. There was immediate blood flow. So you went from 3,000 units that didn't do anything to 125 units targeted uh, with ultrasound guidance and it cleared it. So that's the magic of ultrasound. That's the beauty of ultrasound. One other time that really changed my course using ultrasound is when I had personally, I had a nodule around my eye and we injected and injected and injected hyaluronidase and it wasn't going away. So we used ultrasound and we found that the nodule was actually encapsulated. The body had formed a wall around the hyaluronic acid. So we had to actually use the ultrasound to guide the injection inside that pseudocyst or cyst to inject the hyaluronidase and then it resolved almost immediately. So those are the reasons you should use ultrasound. You can do it to map out the patient prior to injection so you avoid complications. You can use it for education, both educating the patient as well as fellow injectors as well as yourself. If you have an area that you know you need a little more confirmation of where you are and which plane you want to inject, you can use ultrasound to confirm that. You can also use ultrasound after your procedure to confirm that the filler was placed in the correct locations. So ultrasound has a multitude of uh, improvements to our filler uh, armamentarium. Last year, I created a training program called Sonostetics. This program takes you from start to finish, from the physics, the terminology, and the anatomy of the face, and then it goes through ultrasound guided injections, and it goes through hands-on training as well. You have to have training in addition to having a great ultrasound like the Clarius L20 to be proficient in injections using ultrasound. You need a specialized ultrasound that is high frequency, that can go two to four centimeters deep, but you don't need one that goes eight centimeters deep. You're obviously gonna lose some of the resolution with an ultrasound that is a jack of all trades. You need one that's specialized for the superficial resolution that you have in the face. So to someone that is considering using ultrasound in their aesthetic practice, they need to decide at what level they want to enter the market. Not everyone wants to enter the market at a $30,000 price range before they even use an ultrasound. So I suggest that they enter the market using the Clarius because I get great resolution. I can see all the fillers I need to see as well as the vascular structures. So I recommend the Clarius for those people who want to enter the aesthetic arena using ultrasound. I recommend the Clarius L20.